date functions. Let's take a look at the date functions. Add months in this case takes 18 January 2003, adds three months, and comes out with February, March, 18th of April 2003. All the date functions. Once again, all the ones I'm interested in are marked off in red. The black ones I'm not even going to discuss at this point. What do these date functions do? What I've done is I've divided the date functions up into three separate sections. I call them dates and times, date manipulation, and rounding and truncation, literally the round and trunk functions. Let's go back to dates and times. I have five dates and times functions. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take some examples from a script file which I've previously written, and I'm going to copy them and paste them into SQL Plus. And here we have it. What results do we get from here? Current date and sys date. There is a difference between the dates such as sys date and current date, or sys timestamp and current timestamp. Generally, the current implies my local session, such as on my client machine, and sys implies my database server. So going back to my SQL plus window, there's obviously no difference between current date and sys date here. However, if you look at current timestamp, minus 5 GMT, and sys timestamp, minus 8 GMT, that means that my local client machine is on minus 5 GMT, which is Eastern Standard Time, and my database server is actually set to Pacific Standard Time because it's three hours behind. Minus 5 is Eastern Standard Time, which is the Eastern Time Zone for the United States and most of North America. Minus 8 hours is Pacific Standard Time, which is 8 hours best GMT, which is West Coast Time for North America. The other example I have is local timestamp, which simply gives me a timestamp without the time zone. So we've seen what the dates and times functions do. Let's go on to date manipulation. I've got some examples for these. Let's look at add months. And we'll paste in some add month functions. And here I've added five months to 12 December 2002. And I get May, which is the fifth month of 2003. What I've done here is I've got an error. So we can simply correct that. And we can add to months to this date, which is January. And we get March. Add months simply adds a number of months to a date and returns a day. Last day. The last day function returns the last day of the current month. So let's demonstrate this by finding the last day in the month of my sys date. My sys date is actually set to twenty one January O three. The last day in this month is thirty one January O three. Months between. Months between simply finds the number of months between two dates. So let's use months between and paste them in. Let's 